Um, I've heard about blogging for the last kind of few years. It's been in the news a bit, and it's been you know a general topic of conversation between friends. I know one of my friends that blogs, but I've never really tried it out. Never been interested in blogging. So, over the last twelve months, we've introduced um, an edu blog, a blogging tool, um, as a way to build on the old ePortfolio system. Um, and move it into something that's live online and the students can see each other as they go through and comment. When you go into blogging for the very first time, you're not used to it, so it can sort of put you off the app first. Until you really give it a chance and just give it a go, you won't really realise the benefits of it. Um, I think it's really nice how we can blog online and share ideas so that only, it's only educational. I found it really simple to use, really easy to navigate. And it's easy to access as well. So wherever you are, you can access it and add things on and things that have interested you. And it's a good platform for capturing collaborative work. So not only are they working on their own and, and documenting their personal learning journey with ICT, they're working together in our sessions to make resources. And the blog itself can be a, a repository of resources that they've made. You might read someone else's blog and they've made a really good point. You go, oh, yeah, maybe I should have a bit of that. It's mine and you can link to their blog or things something they've used and then it's before you know it you're there. Even when we've done work together I and mean, we've both written our own reflection you know it's quite separate but even when I've read yours I thought oh actually he's made a fantastic point there maybe I should you know go into that as well. You end up collaborating and you learn from other people so the way that I view it might be very different to the way you view it so I can think oh I haven't thought of it that way before so it's really nice to collaborate and I think blogging really facilitates that. I found it really nice because you can personalise the background and, and the title and also the way you're writing, instead of writing in a formal way for an essay, it's very personal, it's quite a um, casual um, way of speaking. So they might include things like screencasts, um, they can include interactive elements, there might be a, a, an online wall which you can post words onto within the blog. They've created computer games using um, computer programming tools such as Scratch and you can actually play their games within the blog. How would you use blogs in schools then? Um, maybe set up a class blog, getting children to put their work on it, talking about what we've done in the day, any you know, praise for children. So. Um, I just think it reinforces their knowledge of what they've actually learned and if a child's off ill they can just go back, look at the class blog, see what they've done and have a go with it themselves. I prefer using it as well to the um ePortfolio because I think it's more personal. Um, I found ePortfolios quite tedious to do, um, not very fun. They're on PowerPoint, I've used PowerPoint for years. It's not exciting, it's not new, it's not fun. So the ePortfolio was very much individual, you did it yourself, um, you couldn't really share ideas with everyone else, whereas because the, the blog is public, I can log on to anyone's and have a look at their ideas and that can help me for my learning. 